Thank you very much, uh, Representative Drios. I appreciate the uh, opportunity to stand with the members of the House today as well as uh, members of the media. You know, this problem is as real as it gets, and uh, I got a first-hand look at it last week when I went to East Liverpool, which is on the opposite side, opposite corner of where the representative was just discussing with the same problem. And I went and I met with the police chief and the mayor and the city manager, and we had a conversation about the issue that uh, East Liverpool is facing. You know, they had, I'm sure that all of you saw the picture of the four-year-old that was in his car seat while both of his parents were uh, passed out and overdosed in the, in the front seats. And so they said to me, yeah, we shared that picture with the rest of the country and the world because that's what our people see every single day. And so we need resources in order to put more police on the ground. We need more resources in order to invest into drug courts so that we can have rehabilitation services for uh, these offenders. We need more money in the schools so that we can educate our kids. And so those are things that are very, very simple um, and things that can be done if we allocated those resources. Now, it wouldn't cure everything in a minute, but it would help to deal with the problem at hand in a very uh, thorough way. You know, when I was working as a workers' comp lawyer, I saw a lot of guys that would come in and they would be prescribed medication. They would take the medication as prescribed and then a couple years later they would come to my office and they were a mess because they were addicted to not only the prescribed a medication that they uh, were given by their doctor, but they had uh, they ended up switching to heroin because it's a cheaper uh, alternative with a stronger effect, right? And so that's that's something that I've seen in my life. Uh, and so dealing with Senate Bill 319, it was key to make sure that we, as a Senate and a House, are dealing with the prescriptive authority. We're dealing with prescriptive limitations. We're dealing with um, the actual opiates that are being prescribed by doctors and who can prescribe those. And so that's something that's really important. Again, doesn't solve the problem, but we have to do this in a fashion that we're coming at it from every single angle. And I think the passage of Senate Bill 319 would be a good step in the right direction alongside of all the resources that would be needed, uh, that would be needed to uh, be distributed throughout our communities um, in the manner that uh, the East Liverpool officials mentioned to me. Uh, so I'm going to continue to work with the House members, work with local governments from all across the state so that we can continue to bring ideas down here and get action. Uh, and if we're not going to get action before November, we need to do it in ways up. And so that's something that we'll be pushing uh, from our caucus on the Senate side. And I'm sure that uh, Representative Antonio has some more to add to come up. 